What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars, Empress Wisdom. What's good, virgins? Hope you guys are all doing well. Mwah, I love you lots. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes to all those that are uh, not visitors uh, to my channel. But anyways, to the visitors, welcome. What's good? I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. This is going to be for the next seven days. Um, I'm going to get energy between you and... Virgo and um, three different signs okay so um, if it resonates dope please like share subscribe comment down below let me know if it don't that's okay may not be a message for you at this time uh, this is going to be for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus take what resonates leave the rest to the birds energies can be vice versa so get in where you fit in you know who you are in the story all right so, anywho, Virgo, let's get into it. What does Virgo need to know for the next seven days regarding love in general? For the sign of Virgo. Wisdom. All right, so wisdom is your message for this week. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. I'm getting that a lot of you guys are going to be um, needing to use wisdom, dealing with certain connections, relationships. Um, I'm hearing of the past, especially. Also, you're going to be needing to use wisdom. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be channeling divine uh, wisdom, insight, messages. So some of you guys could be intuitive. Some of you guys could be psychic. Um, you could be dealing with one. But I'm definitely getting that uh, somebody here is going to be getting some spiritual downloads or messages. And it is of um, heavenly wisdom. All right. So wisdom and as well, like I said, a lot of you guys are needing to um, use wisdom with dealing with certain people and connections. All right. Yep. I feel like uh, there could be an, a guardian angel around you guys or somebody could be an earth guide or something like that. I'm going to move this right here I'm about to put it right here. Anyways, let's go ahead and pick three specific signs you could be dealing with Virgo for the next seven days. Um, and energy between you and these specific signs. Again, it's not going to resonate for everybody. So if it resonates, then you'll know. All right. So the first sign you could be dealing with is a Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. All right. So if you are a Virgo dealing with a Gemini, let's get energy between you and this person. Actually, let me use my little dicey dice this week. So let's see what this person could be to you. If uh, you're dealing with a Gemini, Vertigo. All right, secret enemy. Let's get it started. So you could be a secret enemy of this person or this person could be a secret enemy of yours. Um, let's get some energy. Oh, okay. First of all, Spirit is saying you will overcome this immediately. Yeah, you could be severing a soul tie with somebody here. All right. They might not like it. Well, let's see, though. I'm going to get um, recent past between you and this person. All right. So um, I feel like somebody may have wanted you may have uh, emotionally withdrew from a connection, a situation or walked away from people. Um, and I feel like you needed to release these people so that you could or these situations so that you can open up truly emotionally. Um for some of you guys, I'm getting that somebody from your past that you walked away from, they had evil intentions, all right? and But they wanted you to drop your guards or they wanted you to return or they wanted you to um, no longer be emotionally withdrawn for them or from them because they seen that you had... Um, some of you guys are may have noticed that in the past that this person um, or this person noticed this about you, that you had a sense of peace when there was some type of evil, like you may have had... You may have had evil intentions for somebody and seemed like you had a sense of peace about it or somebody had a sense of peace about having evil intentions towards you and doing fucked up shit towards you. So I feel like this person may have walked away from or they may have walked away from you, um, but... I feel like uh, the other person um, who had the evil intentions, they want the they want that person to come back around, drop their guards, no longer be emotionally withdrawn from them. OK, but I feel like somebody realized that, hey, somebody got evil intentions. So and they cool about that shit. Like you got a sense of peace about doing me dirty and shit, you know. 
So I feel like either somebody realizes this about you or you realize this about this Gemini, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. But I do see that happiness came into your life. Um, even though somebody, like I said, may have wanted you to return to a situation um, that you needed to release in order to have your happily ever after. So, uh, yeah, I feel like somebody was broken hearted from your actions. You know, you may have done some type of some type of grimy is what I'm hearing. Some type of grimy shit to this person or this person did some grimy shit to you. This person had evil intentions from the jump. Um, but I feel like once you walked away from the situation, they wanted you to be emotionally invested in it still. But you knew that they had bad intentions. They know they got bad intentions and shit. Um, they could have been trying to block your happiness or stop you from um, your true love or something like that. Yeah, because they see you manifesting a harmonious and balanced relationship. or no They may have uh, known that you were destined to have a happily ever after situation. So, um, Or you could have known this person was destined to have a happily ever situation and you could have had evil intentions to try to stop them or something um yeah because this person may have needed to take action towards their goals their passions what they actually desired yeah they needed to plan and move forward um but they could have been um it could have been like this circle this group uh, this social dynamic, um, collabing with family, friends, whatever that could have, it could have been a multiple, uh, friends or, you know, family that had evil intentions to try to block somebody from getting to their happily ever after. Yeah. Somebody had a, a lack of conscience and was being deceptive or it could have been, it could have been a group of people being deceptive and, uh, you could have been carrying these uh, toxic or low vibrational energies into your future, um, which could have been, um, keeping you stagnant in a way. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the people that have done you dirty, or if you've done somebody dirty, somebody feels okay about it. Like they have a sense of peace about, uh, okay. Yeah. Somebody could have did some, uh, did some foul shit to some kids or, um, a kid or something like that. And just been like, cool about it. Like not even tripping. Um, yeah, but talking about your dirt, talking about your past, throwing your past in your face, or you could have been doing this to this person. Yeah, I feel like somebody was acting like a straight up devil. Um, or you could have been in some type of enslavement in this situation or, or dealing with this uh, person. Or this person was in some type of enslavement dealing with you and a group of people. Um, yeah, but I do see that regardless, somebody walked away uh, from the situation in the recent past to go towards manifesting a true love, a balanced relationship with somebody else. All right. I'm going to get energy, uh, this person's energy towards you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And again, it could go uh, either way. So get in where you fit in. All right. So um, this person could feel like you caused confusion in some type of way, or you could be feeling confused how this person got a true love. You could be like, wait, what? How'd this person, what? I was trying to block and stop and my plans didn't. Yeah, your plans didn't work. So somebody's plans folded or something and now they're confused. How the fuck somebody got a true, got a, um, opportunity with the true love situation. All right. So that could be you or this Gemini sun, moon rising or Venus sign. Yeah, somebody is tripping because somebody is like, w uh, went towards true love and got it. And they're like, wait, what? Uh, and I feel like somebody's sad about that. They're upset because uh, somebody was able to manifest a true love. All right, yeah, somebody could have got or got engaged. So this Gemini could have got engaged um, in the past or in the recent past, or you just got engaged. Uh, but somebody got engaged to their true love or could be married to their true love now. And someone is completely confused. Um, maybe this is a person that you were connected to in some type of way. Uh, this could have been somebody that was either trying to keep you in some type of mental confusion or in some type of mental uh, enslavement or mind control or something like that, or just confuse you in general. Um, this part, I'm hearing somebody could have tried to uh, use spell work um, specifically surrounding confusion or mind control, uh, mind control tactics, whatever. Either way, this person is confused as to how the fuck you got through that and found true love and also could have gotten engaged or could be married or could, you know, be married or something like that. And I feel like this person sees that there's an ending to this mental calamity is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it could be somebody with Pisces in their uh, chart, Pisces, sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Um, 
but yeah, you could be experienced. So it could be a Gemini. This person could have Gemini in their chart as well as Pisces, or you could have Pisces in your chart, but there is an ending here. Um, and I feel like it could have been in Pisces season as well for some of you guys. So what is that? Uh, Pisces. It's like what? Mar uh, February, March ish. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like somebody is guarded from this situation. Because they may feel that you're aggressive, that you talk to them stupid or something that confuse or talk to them stupid, confuse them in some type of way. Um, so I feel like this person could be walking away from this situation because they feel like I have a true love already. Um, I don't need your confusion anymore. OK, yeah, you talk to me stupid. You come at me, you know, talking outside of your neck. They don't want that. Yeah. When you so it could be somebody you talk to on the phone. All right. Yeah. So somebody's making a decision about this connection. All right. So, um, yeah, it could be they could but this Gemini could be making a decision about you. Um, yeah, because you keep them up in their head overthinking about themselves and shit. Yeah, it could be somebody associated with the military or you could be associated with the military. Um, yeah, but I feel like there's some type of communication that is harsh that somebody is experiencing, whether it's you or this Gemini, but somebody is using wisdom and understanding that whoever this is, an, is an adversary and adversary means devil. So somebody knows that the other is a devil basically, um, and is, you know, was able to walk away from that and manifest a true love situation. And the person who was acting as a devil is confused about that. All right. Whether that's you or this Gemini. All right. So, um, Let's get some advice between you and this person. All right, change diet. Changing diet doesn't necessarily just mean what you eat. It means who you're dealing with. So this person may have had to change their diet and remove you from their life, or you may have had to remove this Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign from your life. Um, uh, and also, some of you guys may have needed to eat clean or cleanse because somebody could have, like I said, been doing something um, to mess with you in some type of way. And herbs and vegetables and water can clear that negativity away. Yeah, you guys are winning, all right? So somebody will win if they um, cleanse. All right, so I'm going to move forward to the next sign. All right, so if you are a Virgo dealing with a... Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to get um, energy between you and this person in the recent past. Oh, let me do my little dicey first. What could this person be to you? Karmic connection. Oh, and I saw family. So it could be uh, somebody that you are, uh, that's in your family, that uh, it's a karmic connection in your family. Okay, so let's see. Pisces and Virgo. All right, so somebody could have been an overgiver in a situation. This could have been you or this Pisces could have felt like they were being an overgiver uh, in your connection. Um, it could have been involving some family wealth or family business. Maybe this person feel like uh, feels like they overgave or um, you overtook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, concerning some type of business or family wealth. Yeah, this person may uh, felt like they weren't paying attention to the details um, and that you could have been taken from them emotionally as well as financially for some of you guys definitely could have been uh involving some type of finances yeah um i feel like this person may have experienced a uh, feeling lack or feeling impoverished in some type of way uh yeah because of some type of situation involving family wealth so somebody who could have been overgiving their finances started to realize that they went uh that maybe they thought they were going to have the ten of pen pentacles, some type of family wealth, but uh, that's not what happened. They ended up overgiving to possibly you, and now uh, they ended up lacking in some type of way, um, or feeling impoverished or left out in the cold financially, or um, the other way I see it is that you could have been overgiving to this Pisces and... Uh, surrounding some type of family business situation or maybe you were trying to help this piscean with a family business or something like that um but yeah or there for some of you guys like i said it could be a leo airy sag that's involved as well surrounding some type of family wealth could be a will could be insurance it could be um, an inheritance of some type but somebody overgave uh monetarily to a situation and they ended up, uh, I feel like even though they may have lost 
what they deemed as a financial success or whatever, but what they gained was becoming independent and career driven. So I feel like this person, whoever was overgiving to a situation emotionally as well as financially, um, I feel like that ended up turning around because this person shifted their energy and I feel like they end, they uh, they became independent and they started to become career driven. They started to chase their dreams. They started to um, be more ambitious and determined towards their goals, even though they were left out in the cold financially by a situation. So or feeling impoverished or feeling like uh, they were lacking. So like I said, this person went from being an overgiver who may have been left out in the cold financially or emotionally um, and whoever it was, it decided to move away from this connection because it was karmic anyway and become career driven um, and focused and independent. So that could be, um, hold on a second, I gotta move real quick. Okay, now I'm setting up. Ooh, my back. Okay, yeah, so um, I feel like this could either be you that um, were, was overgiving to a situation with the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, and this person may have took you for your money, this person may have took you for your emotions, for your love, for your kindness, And I, but what that ended up doing for you was bringing you to uh, independence and being career-driven, and shit, being a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Or just, you know, going towards your own goals and dreams. Um, I'm seeing mind control because of the, the blonde hair and the blue eyes. So some of you guys could have been under some type of mind control in the past, but I feel like, um, shit, you could be being freed from that. That's why you're experiencing delays. Yeah, because somebody could have been slandering you or you could have been slandering this person with rumors, lies, deceit, telling them lies about themselves, uh, making this person feel lack. It, but I feel like regardless, whatever somebody tried to do, this person ended up, uh, it ended up pushing this person into being career driven, into being independent. So, um, yeah, maybe you didn't believe this person had it in them or trust. Um, yeah, but I feel like this person may have gotten some type of spiritual guidance that, that they were off their path, that they were off their divine mission. So that could be either you or this, uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. All right, let's see, uh, the energy... Um, this person's energy towards you. Oh, yeah, this person don't want to start over in this situation. Yep, they feel like it's risk. Uh, it's risky that you're impulsive, that you're in and out. Uh, yeah, um, I feel like this person thinks that you only think sexual thoughts about them or just in general. Maybe they feel like you're vulgar or um, crude or something like that. Or that you had sexual thoughts about somebody else, a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But yeah, this person is deciding to go towards a mutual love connection, um, towards somebody that's more loving, that's nurturing, that's art artistic, possibly. Yeah, somebody went towards a new offer. So I feel like this person um, is deciding to go towards a new offer because somebody is vulgar, crude, and talk like I said, somebody could talk out the side of their neck. Um, yeah, this person could be gossiping, lying, starting rumors. This person may feel like you are a gossip or a liar and a rumor starter, and that's why they're not starting over with you um, in this connection because I feel like they have a more stable offer at this time. Yeah, um, and I feel like they prayed for this offer, and that's why they got it. Yeah, they prayed for something good to come in for them, love-wise as well as uh, investments, building something, and I feel like they got it. Yeah, that's what they got. So, um, or this is what you got, you know what I'm saying? But let me get some advice between you and this person. Call out to your guides. You need to meditate and release this situation, all right? So if this is you um, and you, yeah, you may have to speak up. You may have to speak up to your guides, to your angels, to the most high, um, and pray about this situation and meditate and release. You um, release the fact that you may have to let this situation go. Or um, lay this situation to rest, okay? Yeah, because um, some somebody could be overindulgent in drinking, or this person may keep you overindulgent in drinking. Like, this could be somebody you was drinking with in the past. Yeah, it's time for you to choose love, so, or somebody's choosing love, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like they somebody may need to clear their sacral chakra, so somebody may be getting some loving or need to get some loving or something, you know? Yeah, but anyways, I do see that somebody is going towards a brand new start. So it's either you or this Piscean here, okay? Or you need to. So last but not least, the next sign. I got to do real fast. Virgo. All right, so you could be dealing with another Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. 